Hello, Psych2Goers. Welcome back to another video. Have you ever thought that you found the one? Maybe they've got the brains, the looks, the morals, everything you've desired in a partner, and you couldn't be more ecstatic. This could be the person of your dreams. Well, it's only the first date, but still, you couldn't be happier. Only you sense that there may be something off. You ask yourself, do they feel the same way about me? Well, sometimes it can be hard to read the signs that someone is simply not that interested. So to help you out, Psych2Go presents to you, nine signs someone is just not into you. Number one, they don't open up about themselves at all. Do they share their opinions with you? Whether it's to talk about their past, their family, or just general things about their life, their reluctance to open up to you may mean that they're just not that into you. Serious relationships involve talking about things that matter. Although you don't need to get too personal on the first or second date, if things haven't progressed when you've been together for a while, then they may not be feeling the same way about you as you do about them. Number two, they haven't made the move to ask you out. So you're texting this newly found love of your life. You're head over heels for them, but they haven't asked you out yet. If you're the only one who's made any attempt at meeting together in person, whether that be a romantic evening or just to grab a cup of coffee and hang out, you might want to reassess whether this person really likes you back. After all, if they are interested, they'll make an effort to ask you out on a date. Number three, you just aren't feeling it. Okay, so you think this person is great for you. They have a great personality that matches yours. They're extremely smart, yet for some reason, you don't get excited about them at all. Truth is, you can generally figure out whether someone is into you by the way they make you feel. If you've been talking to this person for a while and you don't feel the effort on their end, then there may just not be any chemistry between the two of you. Number four, they ignore you. Have they been ignoring your calls or texts? What are you doing? If this great person doesn't care enough to call you back or respond to your texts, then they clearly don't care enough to start a serious relationship with you. In fact, they may be trying to ghost you. You can check out our video, Eight Signs Someone Is Going To Ghost You for more insights. Number five, their responses are short. Are their responses to your texts extremely brief? Generally, if someone isn't interested in you, they won't want to chat with you for long. Think about it. If you don't want to talk with someone, but don't want to be rude or impolite, you may just give the most minimal response required like a simple K. These short responses may be a sign that they're not that interested. Number six, they don't introduce you to family or friends. Have you met any of their friends or family months into the relationship? It may be a sign that they're not that serious about you. A study published in 2014 supports the thought that marshalling for romantic relationships is normal, especially if you can't stop thinking about them. You want your closest friends and family to root for the one you love as much as you root for them. So getting their feedback and security is a stepping stone into moving the relationship into a much deeper place. Number seven, they bring up their ex often. Do they talk about their ex a lot? If they're talking about their ex more than they're talking about you or themselves, then it's likely that they're not over them, whether it's in a reminiscent way or a begrudging way. If they're talking about their ex and the past memories of them all the time, then it might be time for you to realize they're not over them and they're probably not ready to be into you. Number eight, their phone is protected at all costs. Okay, nobody wants anyone snooping through their phone and you shouldn't even feel the need to snoop through someone's phone if you trust them and you feel secure with your relationship. But if they seem overly protective about their phone and especially about who they're texting, then they may be hiding something from you. However, it's best to express and communicate your concern to them instead of confronting head on without any real evidence. And number nine, they're not ready for a relationship. And they've told you that. Okay, your crush is so perfect, but there's just one problem. They've said that they're not ready for a relationship. <laughs> Whoever is, right? You may be thinking that they'll fall for you and things will work out in time. But think again, this person made it clear that they aren't looking for something serious. And if they had the urge to say this to you in the beginning, then they really are just not that into you. 
Did you relate to any of the signs we mentioned above? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share it with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.